Hello, this is Matt. I'm going to walk you through registering for Short Mountain Bible Camp today. For those who've never registered before, sometimes it can be uh, a complicated process. So I'm going to walk you through that right here. You'll see that we're starting at our throwbackcamp.com website. We created this website just to pass along some information about camp. You can go here and it gives you a link directly to Short Mountain site to register. That link is through this button right here. Click here to register for Short Mountain Bible Camp. So we'll click there to start. Then you're going to go straight to Short Mountain site, click on uh, register online here. You can also print out a camp application right here. If you uh, are not technologically savvy and you want to do a paper application, you can click there and go to a paper application, but they will charge a processing fee for you to register by paper. So we always recommend people to register uh, just using the website. When you get to the registration page, you're going to have the option of creating account or if you already have an account, just using your username and password. We're going to start with uh, creating an account for those who don't have it. And we're going to use the name Bo Turner as our example for camp. So go through and fill out all the information that um, it asks for. The red star next to each box tells you the things that are necessary for you to register for. It's also going to ask you for multiple phone numbers. We like to have multiple phone numbers just in case there's a problem at camp and we can't get a hold of the primary contact. We like to have secondary contacts to call. So make sure you put as many phone numbers as you can for us for camp. Then you're going to get asked to use your email address. So fill that out. Then you're going to come down to the bottom of the screen. On the right side of the screen there's additional parent or guardian information. Again they would love for you to add a second contact to that. Uh, this also tells us who's allowed to pick up uh, your camper we like to keep uh, make sure that only authorized people uh, can come on the mountain to pick up campers. So please put as many people as you would like to be authorized pickups, and we'll make sure that we check that before we check anybody out of the mountain. At the bottom of the screen, you're going to see login information. Uh, it's going to ask for the username. The easiest thing to do is use your email address because it's easy to remember, and then it's going to ask you for a password. So fill that out and then click create account. It sent me back because the primary contact has to be over 18 years of age. So make sure that you register the parent and not the child. Now we come to the reservation screen. This is the screen you'll go to if you have uh, already have an account and you just use your username and password. Right now uh, it's got the individual reservation for Bo Turner. I had to register Bo Turner as an adult so if you need you need to add your children to the account so you'll need to click add a new person to the account so that you can register your child. This person is a child. We'll do Bo Turner the second. Then you get to click the checkbox for contact information, whether it's the same as your contact information or not. We'll say that it is the same. Save and make reservations. Now it's going to take you to the session screen. The session screen is where you get to choose which week you go to camp. We are the Putnam County week of camp, June 17th through 22nd. So you'll select that week. Then it's going to start, it's going to go through and ask you some questions. Name the church that you attend. Are you a baptized member? And then there's some questions just for us, um, for some things we need to know. Is this camper a counselor's child? Um, that gives you a discount. If you are a counselor going to camp, you need to click that box to make sure that uh, you register them as a counselor's child. Any medical information that the child may have so that we can have that on record at the mountain. 
Are there any activities uh, that the child should be restricted of because of health? If there are, please fill that out. We have horseback riding, we swim, we do things like that at camp, and we need to know whether your child is able to participate in that or not. Has your child been exposed to any diseases in the last three weeks? Please fill that out as well. Uh, then at the bottom we have some uh, permission uh, check boxes. Can they horseback ride? Can they be photographed? Can they participate in swimming? And then at the bottom of the screen, this one's very important, it's who would you like to room with. Um, please list the people that your child would like to room with on here. There's a lot of kids that come up to camp that we've never met before, and if you don't register who they want to room with, we don't know. So please make sure that you fill out who they would like to room with at the bottom. Then click Next. Then you're going to ask if you'd like to make a donation to the building fund for camp. Uh, we have a debt where we built a new cabin and we've worked on the pool and we're trying to pay that off this year so we would love any contributions that you can make to the camp building fund so click this checkbox if you would like to do that. Now you're going to come to the option of the store card. Uh, we do store cards for the canteen. The canteen is a place where they can get snacks and drinks every day at camp. Um, you also get a free short mountain Bible camp t-shirt. This is not the camp t-shirt that we typically give. This is a shirt that comes straight from the camp. Uh, so when you register for a store card, you're going to get um, one of those t-shirts. So you can click on that and register for a specific store card. Then at the bottom, you have, um, you can skip this part at the bottom if you're registering online. This is the processing fee for those who register by paper. So you can skip that part and click next. Now you're at the sibling discount screen. Um, this is for uh, if you register a second child, the second child gets a discount uh, and it's an auto ad so you don't have to do anything for that. Just click next. Now you're at the alternate contact screen. Like I said before, we like to have multiple contacts so please make sure that you fill those out and any information that you can give them so that we can have that on record. Click next. Now you're at the authorized pickup list. You can add authorized pickups to the account. You can see this is the uh, father that we've built the account for. is the only per person authorized to pick up here. If you'd like to add other people, you can do that down here by clicking add and adding non-account members to that. That's for authorized pickups. Then you have the agreement that you agree with for camp. This shows you the dress code. Make sure you read through that so that you can pack accordingly and also how we handle emergencies. You click uh, I agree or I do not agree on that. Now you're going to go to the uh, the cart to pay. At this point if you have a second child to register you need to click add a reservation and it's going to take you back to the beginning screen for you to do that again or you can review the items and check out. We're going to go to that so that we can close out the registration. You can see here that uh, it's showing charges of $170. That is for the store card and also for the $150 camp registration. Uh, you shouldn't have to bring any money or anything to camp. Once you buy the store card, they should have uh, what they need for camp that week. So we're there. Now you can proceed to payment. Uh, you get the option. You can pay the minimum amount, which is $25, and then pay the remaining balance at camp, or you can pay all the items in full. Uh, it also has different payment options. So we're going to click down there on other payment options. Uh, so you can see that you can pay any amount you want at the time. We'll go ahead and click paying the $170. Now you get the option of uh, e-check, which that saves the camp money if you use a paper check and fill out an e-check because we have to charge a credit card fee or we have to pay a specific credit card fee for every card used. So if you're able to pay by check online, that's very helpful to the camp or you can choose to pay by credit card or you can click the check or money order section and that's if you're going to mail a check in or if your child's a scholarship child which will need to be arranged with the the camp directors beforehand but you can click check or money order and uh, and then mail a check straight to the camp now you get to this point if you click on credit card or if you click on e-check it's going to take you to a screen that's going to walk you through using those things but then you'll eventually come to this where you can click complete your order and then it's going to process uh, your information. It's going to give you an acknowledgement number. It's going to send an email receipt directly to your your email address and give you phone numbers to call. 
Now, when you go to your email and you check your email, you're also going to get a form that's the emergency release form for camp. You'll need to print that out, fill it out, include your a copy of your insurance card, and have that notarized to bring to camp. Uh, and aside from that, I hope that helps you out. That's a lot of details. But uh, hopefully, if you have any questions, you can call me at 931-526-4605, and I will be glad to help you. We hope a lot of people come to camp. We are looking forward to it this year. Thanks so much.